Two. Wild Street with three, uh, eight tracks, 34 minutes. The third studio album, although it could be their second actual album because there's an EP as number two, maybe. I don't know. It's a bit of a thing there. But so they're either second or third full album. Released June 2021 via Golden Robot Records. Uh, quite a few singles have been released from this, including Still Love You and Mother, which is the link in the comments. Produced by Kyle Pass, mixed by John Kaplan, masked by Howie Weinberg. There were a few people can on this in our little lounge group, so join our THS lounge. And uh, so that makes the list this week. And it's worth noting that this is the band's first, like their second EP or album, number two, was released back in 2011. So it's their first outing since then wow how'd you go with this one tim quite liked it actually um cool. this was the right kind of um throwback sound because it's obviously a very uh influenced by 80s hard rock yeah. you know it does have that big bombastic sound to it and a nice swing and a, yep. um very much a party atmosphere to it as well uh, that you get that mm-hmm. you tend to get from from 80s rock uh, yep. But at the same time, it, it did sound also quite fresh and new and original as well. And yeah. um, that's what I really liked about it. It was a throwback sound done right. Yeah. Um, really catchy songs, but uh, not. Uh, they weren't uh, one dimensional either. They did um, know how to change things up a little bit. They did. Uh, yep. They did. Uh, 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 throw the tempo when they needed to. They did, you know, push back when they needed to. They, they, I thought the ballads were placed in the right um, they were, space. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of ballads, but um, yeah. when they needed to space them out, put them there, they did. And uh, yeah. when they wanted to hit you with an earworm, they did. And I thought overall it was a very well-constructed album. Uh, it sounded great too, actually. Yeah. Crystal clear. Um, if that's the kind of thing, you'll be into this. Um <sighs> Uh, if you're into like you know anything from you know Motley Crue to Gunners, check this out. Yeah, this yeah. is very much a, that kind of wheelhouse. And yep. if you're into hard rock, you'll find something out of it. Uh, Tennessee Cocaine is my highlight, and yeah, eight out of ten. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Uh, like I was saying, big thank you again to the band for sharing this around. Hopefully, you're gonna like the review because I'm gonna concur with Tim. I did enjoy this one a lot. Uh, if you like the Sunset Strip, that era of music, so what you said, Motley Crue to Guns N' Roses, that kind of stuff, and all the stuff in between, there's not just those two bands there, obviously, uh, then this is the right kind of album for you. You get exactly what you want with this. Tennessee Cocaine is one hell of an opener. You chose it as your standout track on the album, but that is a great way to open this this album up. Uh, riffs and Hooks for Days on this. It's got a great vibe, a great energy about it, which really comes through on the listen for this one, which is really cool, really well done. You've got like... It feels like a live band in a studio jamming these songs out. It's not overly produced. It's it's just a real honest, and not a negative thing, it's a good honest representation of the band, which makes you think that if you went and saw this live, you'd go and get the same result. And it's a good result. It's a really good result. Uh, well, I'll put a note here. You get the feeling they'd be just as hot on the – they're just they're hot on the record and you feel like they'd be just as hot in the whiskey a go-go. You know what I mean? So that, that kind of thing. Some nice tasty solos on this, as you expect. Some nice flash there. Uh, but you got some great soul in slower songs like Still Love You. It's a, and that's, you know, counter, or countered by the, the big balls on the nastier stuff. Like they've got a really good balance when going for those slow moments at just the right times. And then they just really kick things into gear in just the right uh, places. And I'm like you were saying, the ballads are really well placed. Uh, this has all the peaks and troughs you want in a record. <laughs> Whilst they're not doing anything new, it's a tried and true formula. They're doing it very fucking well. Uh, if you are a fan of this era or genre at all, you are going to feel right at home straight away. This does just take you back to that period of time and, and just makes you feel like you just walked straight back into it. And it's still, but at the same time, it sounds modern, fresh. There's a good bit of a, a raw edge to this. It hasn't been like, it's, you know how we talk about, you know, albums from the 80s and they've got this sort of timestamp sonically. This has sort of got the feel, but without that dated timestamp. So there's, they've, yeah, they've done yeah, exactly. They've kept that raw edge just enough in it. They haven't over polished, and it's really cool. Not it it sounds like what a, a rock and roll album in 2021 should sound like. Exactly. I like it. I like know, how. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we're we're rock and roll fans. We we like we like a bit of a grit and a bit of dirt, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't have to sound like shit. Exactly. Definitely. Uh, I really liked how they used panning and layering in this because there's a bit more going on on this one too. Like there were some synth touches in this one here and there and a bit 
more the ear candy sort of subtle touches that come into the album toward you know the second half of it but generally speaking there's a really meaty mid section on the sounds of this that come from the guitar and the bass the vocals cut through nicely over the top of that the solos also cut through so they've left enough room for everything but like you said you can hear everything clearly you said everything was crystal clear and that's exactly right uh at the same time, everyone gets a little moment to shine on this one. The drums and bass get a nice lot, a nice night in particular in the song Midnight Church, uh, Midnight Children, sorry. And uh, the organ filling out the sound wall was a nice touch. Uh, that track and the closer, Mother, add a bit of darkness to this record, which is a, which is a nice sort of gear change in this one too. And it shows you there's a bit of menace to the guys with some of the storytelling, which is pretty cool. And I don't know, they bring all, but at the same time, you've got some serious groove and tra- uh, swagger on tracks like Born to Be. That's a fucking, that swings really hard. That's cool. Um, I loved the seven minute closer. It's a bit unexpected on an album like this. The whole thing is you know, about the three minute mark most of the way through. And then you get to the seven, seven and a half minute song, Mother at the End. It's dark, it's brooding, it's epic. It's a really smoky shift and a great way to close the album. Again, I like that dark touch to it. I mean, all in all, you know what you're going to get if you like the era, but this is a band that's doing it really, really well. They're cut from the same cloth but not mimicking it at all. They're doing their own thing, and, like, there are enough points of difference for this one to really stand out. It's going to be a a one that's going to be easy to go back to over and over again because it is very, very easy to repeat spin, and the more I listen to it, the more I enjoy it a lot too. Really well done. Fun, great listen. Well done to the guys. This is really good. Sounds great, and it's – Good fun. If you want, if you want an album that's going to make you feel good and pump you up in the morning, this is a good one for that. Uh, oh, so uh, this is a uh, playlist one. It is. This is one where tracks are going to find their way onto your playlists, and you're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I mean, my my standouts here. I mean, I gave an eight and a half out of ten. I picked Tennessee Cocaine, same as you, but also Born to Be. I reckon those two tracks in particular are great ones. Stick on a on a good little random playlist, but also enjoyed the Closer Mother. I reckon that was a fantastic. Uh, way to wrap it up. So I picked the open, the close, and a track in the middle there. So um, very, very cool. Well done to the guys. That's a great album. Uh, so, yeah, we started off well. Three, two, one.